In this tutorial, we are going to create two resources. The first one is the Azure function. The second one is the block storage. And the scenario of this demo, that is the block storage event, can trigger an Azure function. So let's discover how to implement this solution. So in this demo, we need to create two resources. The first one is the Azure function and the second one is the blob storage account that it will be uh, the trigger for our event so we start to create a new resource group either trigger your up north review and create go to resource so we start creating the storage account with the name storage trigger in the north Europe Verify and create the storage account. Nice. Is will be deployed. Mercer's is created and ready to use. So I'm going to create another resource group that is a Azure function. Create function app. Create in the resource group is a trigger with name. I think trigger is a published code with dot um, net core three dot one in Europe North. All right create and create my function app it will be deployed and then we can use our function we go to resource and function add a new function we have three possibilities that we can create a either function on VS Code or any editor and the core uh, tools and from develop in the portal I'm going to develop in the portal my trigger is it will be the blob storage trigger so either blob storage trigger The name of my function that will be trigger blob. It's it will be the path to access to this function. Here it's so easy to link my Azure function with my blob storage, or I can also create a new storage account. But in my case, I I have storage that is created, that is storage trigger this one okay then add it will create the function in this path Success successfully created nice then I can access to the workflow of my Azure function in integration that show me the trigger the input and the output and this is the Azure function that can treat the input into the output by an event trigger. So to go to the code, go to code and test. And this is per default code that is generated by the Azure function. Next step that I will create a blob storage container 
that I will put the file that trigger my function. So I go back to my resource and my storage account, create a container, create a new container with the name that we have used in the creation of the trigger. This name. For the access, I make everyone access to my container. Then create. And then I can upload a file here in my container. So I'm going to upload a file to trigger my... and upload once my file is uploaded, I'm going back to my Azure function. I obtain the name of the CSV file who I deployed in the blob storage container. Is the book future CSV and this is the name here that is intercepted by the trigger. So in this demo, we have seen together how to create a Azure blob storage and the Azure function that is triggered by the event.